warmed up. We're gonna start with some high knees. Beautiful, start swinging your arms forward and back. Nice big swings. I hope you are excited for a great workout. Even if you're not, that's okay. You're here, you're getting started. That's the most important thing. I promise you as we go through the workout, you're gonna feel great. Beautiful, engage those abdominals. Okay, we're going to squat and press, lift one knee and then the other. And we're just warming up here, so you don't have to go super deep with your squat, but what I do want you to do is already think about really contracting your abdominals, pulling your belly button into your spine. Yes. Make sure you have a good healthy distance between your ears and your shoulders, and keep your chest nice and open throughout class. Beautiful, give me a big inhale. I want you to squeeze your abs back flat. You're folding forward. Just like that, tap the ground and back up. So this is the warm up we're gonna do for most of our workouts here for our 30 day challenge. So you'll get familiar with this, with this warm up anyway. There we go, keep going, forward fold. Beautiful, a little jog here. The balls of my feet aren't really leaving the ground because we're still warming up. We don't have to go super high impact on the plyo. Take your arms out and give me circles. And circle them the other way. Nice. Just two more exercises in our warm up. We're gonna do a hamstring curl, so you're kicking your butt back with a biceps curl. Nice. So right about now, we're almost done the warm up. I want you getting ready mentally for a great workout, for giving me your best effort. Are you having positive affirmations in your head? Are you talking positively to yourself? Already congratulate yourself for getting started. That's the hardest part. <laughs> Feet wide, legs wide, just shift your weight side to side. Knees going same direction as your toes. Yes, there you go. Nice, okay, we're gonna get ready for our first triplet set. Now, if you don't have a stability ball or a bench, when I get on the stability ball, you can just lay down on the floor, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, you can lay down, grab one or two of your weights, and go ahead and take them up over your head. Beautiful, elbows in, bend and extend. They're called skull crushers and you can see why. If you drop those weights, they would probably hurt your skull there, so don't drop them, right? If you're on a stability ball, really push up through your hips, squeezing the triceps. We're not gonna get up. We're gonna take it to a chest press. So, elbows wide and press up. Nice. You got it. Throughout every exercise, really support your back by keeping your abdominals strong. Let's speed it up some, right? If you're blessed to have really heavy weights at home and it's already challenging, maybe you're not speeding up. If you just have light weights, pump out those reps. We're gonna get rid of this ball. I'm gonna put the weights off to the side. We're gonna do an alternating toe tap. So, lay down on your back, bring your legs up, shins parallel to the ceiling. Keep this 90 degree angle from the hips, drop the toes down and up. Down and up. Now, if you want added abdominal work, you pick up your head the whole time. So see how the angle in my knee is not changing. I'm moving from the hips. I am not just bending and straightening my leg. Nice. Get back onto that ball. Grab those weights. Skull crush your time if you don't have a ball or a bench. You're just laying on the floor and doing it. 
Nice. One exercise right after the other because we want to keep a challenging pace that helps raise the heart rate some and we're just getting a lot done in a minimal amount of time, which I always appreciate in a workout. I like to get the most done in the minimum amount of time because we're all busy, right? Pump out that chest press, squeezing through those chest muscles all the way up to the top. Really think about the chest muscles right there, squeeze them. Beautiful. You got this. How about 10 more seconds? Whew. Nice, nice. Let's go, let's go. Okay, here's that alternating toe tap. Bring your shins up to the ceiling as you lay down. Keep that 90 degrees. Tap the toes down. Movement from the hip. Hey, if you can, pick up your chest. Pick up those shoulder blades. Keep those elbows wide. Nice. So we have our rectus abdominis, right? Picking up your chest is focusing right towards the top of it. And then these toe taps are helping to challenge the lower half of it. Awesome, right? All right, skull crusher time. Quick transition, as quick as you can make it. There you go. Whoo! Bend the elbows and straighten. Bend the elbows and straighten. You're looking good. Come on. We are squeezing through the triceps. We are getting nice toned back of the arms. It's gonna be beautiful. You're gonna be able to wave and not have the back of your arms wave with you. Chest press. Nice. Pushing up through the heels if you're on your stability ball. Nice. Really pump it. Push it. This is the last time we're doing this chest exercise. So really get the most out of it. Nice work. Good job. Go. Give me five more seconds. You can do it. Nice. Setting up for that toe tap. Lay down. Shins to floor 90 degrees. Begin tapping. Pick up those shoulder blades if you can. If your neck is bothering you and you want to rest it, that's fine too. You can put your head down if you need to. Ah, keep breathing. After this, we're doing our minute cardio. I'm going to be doing jumping jacks. You can do jacks with me or you can do anything else that keeps your heart rate up. All right, if less impact is better for you and you need to kind of catch your breath, your jack can look like this, right? Maybe you can have a little bit more and you're gonna do a regular jack. Maybe you really wanna pick it up and you're gonna do two regular jacks and an X jump. You can take it there if you want to. Two regular jacks and an X jump. Up to you, you choose which option is best for you. We're gonna go to our next triplet set next. We're gonna do a triceps kickback and a push up. And then we're gonna do a screwdriver. <sighs> no, it's not the alcoholic drink. Nope, it's an awesome exercise. <laughs> okay, less than 10 seconds. Hang in there. Oh, grab your weights. You are going to hinge forward, pull the elbows back, keep them close to your body, extend and bend. You can do this. Extend, bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend, and bend. Nice work. Push up is next. Okay, you can be from your knees, hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Try to get your chest as close to the ground as you can without resting at the bottom. If you can, come to that full push up. Keep your head up, look out in front of you. Squeeze through the chest on your way up. Nice work, keep it up. Okay, so here's this screwdriver. Beginners, you're gonna keep your legs bent. If you need help, put your hands underneath here. Pick up your hips, drop them to one side. 
pick up your hips, drop them to the other side. Now, more advanced, you don't have your hands under your hip and you can straighten your legs. Pick up and switch. Pick up and switch. There you go. Tricep kickbacks. Come on up quickly. Make these transitions quick. Elbows in, elbows back. Chest is open. Abdominals pulled in. Back flat. Knee soft. Squeeze the back of those arms there. You can do this. You are doing it. I'm proud of you. Hang in there with me. Squeeze. Let's get down to that push-up on your knees or not. Hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Abdominals in. Your back is flat. Your body is moving in one segment, right? You are stiff as a board, light as a feather. <laughs> Did you guys used to play that when you had sleepovers? Light as a feather, stiff as a board. It never worked for me. <laughs> All right, but think about it. Stiff as a board and think of yourself as light. It'll be easier. Maybe not, but maybe it might work. Maybe it might make you feel lighter, right? There's the screwdriver. Pick up those hips, drop them from side to side. Beginners, bend your knees, put your hands under your hips to help give you leverage to lift your hips. There you go. You're almost there. Hang in there with me. Tricep kickbacks. Let's go. Knees soft, elbows back. Whew. Looking out. There you go. If you look at your feet, you're gonna hurt your neck. So look out in front of you. You are doing awesome. Just keep working. Do the best you can. Oh, getting ready for push-ups. Hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Elbows are going wide. Your body is stiff. Go to your knees if you need to. Come on. Down and up. Down and up. Oh, it's getting challenging. Almost there. Hang in there. Pump them out. Set up that screwdriver. Rest your head. Whew. Lift, lower from one side to the other side. Whew. Put your hands under your hips if you're having a hard time picking up your hips. Bend your knees if you need to, that's okay too. Whew. Whew. Come on. You got this. Hang in there. Okay. We are doing our jumping jacks. Beginners, do you remember? Maybe you look like this. Intermediate here. How could I forget our cardio set? Or you can do one, two, and an X jump. One, two, 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 X jump. Come on, X jump. One, two, oh. Come on, 12 more seconds. You can do it. Oh, last three. Two, one, ah, okay. We're doing a triceps push-ups. Elbows in close, elbows pointing back and scraping your body. Okay, go to your knees if you need to. Looking out, your body is as stiff as a board. Yes, do you see how my elbows are pointing back there? My elbows are staying close to my body. Go to your knees if you need to. If it gets to be too much, just hold the plank. You can just hold the plank if you need to. Down and up. Oh. Down and up. I'm breathing hard. That's what we want. Almost there. Oh. I'm going to my knees so I can pump them out. I forgot to set the timer. I think that's enough time, right? 
Duh, Evan. Okay, we're gonna do over-unders for our chest. Turn your palms up, swing one arm over, one arm under, open. There you go, so the chest work is right there in the crisscross. Squeeze your chest. Nice. Oh, these weights already feel heavy. I just have seven pounds in each hand, and it's challenging, crisscross. 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 Okay, we are gonna do an inching elbow plank. So, go on your forearms. Ready? Squeeze through your abdominals, especially your lower abs. Keep your legs straight. Inch up and then down. Up, squeeze through your abs. Keep those legs straight. Up, down. Up, beautiful. Right into those tricep push-ups, everybody. Elbows in close, down and up. Go to your knees whenever you need to. Look out in front of you. I'm going to my knees so that I can go a little bit faster. Oh, maybe not. Oh, my triceps are burning. Oh, it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? That's how you know what you're doing is effective. Oh. Whew. Over unders, grab those weights, palms up, over under and switch. Squeeze right there, the chest right there. Whew. Squeeze. Squeeze, knees are soft, shoulders back. Whew. Oh yeah, this feels good, doesn't it? Oh. Come on, five seconds. Go, go, go. Oh my goodness. We're gonna do that forearm plank and we're gonna inchworm it. Legs straight. Step up, up, up. Crunch those abs as you go down and up. Up, up. Use those abs as you hinge those hips. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Hang in there. Ooh. Okay. Whew. Oh, try some push ups. Why did I get up? I don't know. I had wishful thinking. <laughs> Come on. Elbow scraping your body. Let's go. Oh, just do your best. Hang in there. Everybody's coming at me with your best effort, okay? Even if it's just holding the plank. Oh, work it. Oh, one more. Oh, over unders. Here we go. Over under. Squeeze the chest. You can do this. Knee soft. Find distance between your ears and your shoulders. You got this. How about five more seconds? Okay, get on your forearm plank. We're gonna do our little inchworm. If it ever gets to be too much, you just hold your plank, even if you have to go to your knees and hold it. Abs in, legs straight. It's really tiny little steps there. Think about keeping your shoulders back away from your ears. This is about the abs. Crunch those abs as you pull those hips up and in. Okay, let's do our jacks. Do the version that's best for you. I'm gonna kick it up a notch. I'm gonna go one, two, and X jump. You do what's best for you. After this, we're cooling down. So come on. You got this. Let's go. Let's go. You got this. Come on. 20 more seconds. Give it your all. Oh. 10 more seconds. Work it. Just do your best. Okay. 
Take it down to your knee. Bring it down. Now, have nice distance. Push forward. Stretching through the hip flexor there. Just breathe. There you go. Getting a nice stretch in. Same thing, other side. So when you lean forward, you still want this knee over your ankle. So you need a good distance between your legs there. Really press forward into it. Really opening up through that hamstring there. So bring it just to normal right there, okay? Take your opposite arm to the outside of that knee. Take that other one behind you. Look over your shoulder. Nice spine twist and you're opening up through the chest there too, through the shoulder. Just keep breathing. Now this is gonna be our cool down and stretch for most of our workouts here. So you'll get really familiar. Same thing other side. Opposite hand to the outside. Other hand wraps around to your opposite hip. Look over your shoulder. There you go. Oh, this feels good. So during the cool down, I want you to let yourself bask in the goodness of this workout. Right? Three. Sit in front, legs out mostly straight or all the way straight. Hinge forward, reach for your toes. If you can't reach your toes, that's okay. Just go as far as you can. So allow yourself to be proud of yourself. Notice how good you feel. Maybe you feel challenged, maybe you're sweating like crazy, but doesn't it feel good knowing that you stuck to your goal? You did something good for yourself. Ah, beautiful, come up. We're gonna do that again. See if you can't go further this time. Oh, keep your legs as straight as you can. With each exhale, relax into it. Ah. Nice, nice, nice. <sighs> Almost there, how much more time? About five more seconds. Get this nice stretch in through your hamstrings. Okay, sit up nice and relaxed. Take your right hand, pat yourself on the back. Stretch those triceps, lean it over. Get a nice stretch through your side too. <sighs> just hold it, just relax into it. We have about 12 more seconds. <sighs> nice. Same thing, other side. Oh, pat yourself on the back. Lean over. So it's just a little side stretch, right? You're leaning over, you feel the stretch go from your armpits all the way down into your hip. And then of course you're feeling it along the triceps, the back of the arm there. Just a nice deep breath. After this, we're gonna take 30 seconds just to lay down and relax. And it's gonna be your time to really visualize. And to just really talk to yourself in a positive way. So just find a relaxation. Give me a nice big inhale. I want you to repeat in your head with me. I am strong. I am capable. I am transforming my body. I can do anything I set my mind to. Nice and easy, open up your eyes. Go ahead and sit up. Great job. If you still need some more stretching, go ahead and take it. Otherwise, make sure you're staying hydrated. Go get your recovery snack or meal, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.